Piper gonna lose his life there. So close to killing off that Venge, but not able to go and actually finish the job there. Centaur now looks like he has up the full Hood of Defiance as well as about to actually full headdress is also up. So he's almost up to a full pipe for himself and his team. Visage is level 6 finally, so he has his familiars available, but it might be a little bit of too little too late at this point. Um, and with that being said, right now 14 minutes in, let's go look at actually the gold lead. Yeah, over 7,500, reaching towards almost 10,000 gold lead right now, going the way of SRT and in terms of experience. Just about 7,500 experience, so they're winning in terms of both, and this is only at the 14 and a half minute mark. Let's go and look at the net worth, where, yeah, we see that uh, right now, the top three are all on the side of SRT. The Brewmaster, the Centaur, and the Ventral Spear are all on the top in terms of net worth. Witch Doctor is sitting there with 4,700, um, and he's, you know, the uh, the fifth highest in terms of net worth. Only one beating him on the other side is, in fact, Doom, and that's a, that's a Midas. The thing is that you also have to take into account, this is a Midas Doom. And he is right now sitting in the fourth position in terms of overall farm. He's just not doing well. He's 0 4 and 1 right now in the Doom. And he's been shut down effectively. Dyer's so middle down tower from SRT is under the middle lane, Just to make sure that we aren't going to see any Weaver shenanigans. Or so that they will see Weaver shenanigans and we won't see uh, effective Weaver, Weaver shenanigans, I guess. And uh, it's we're just going to be seeing SRT. And that's a. Um. Uh, I'm going to call this one into question. Dyer's Midas middle at the 15 and a half fallen. minute mark is not good. Midas on a Weaver at the 15 and a half minute mark when your team is 16 and 2 right now. Oh, will we see the swap? No, not going to be able to be there in time. That little bit of a cast animation that was just too much for the Venge to be able to get it off in time. And so, we do see the Doom being able to live. And now the Agatha Center is in fact up to the Witch Doctor as this top tower starts to fall a little bit here. But Witch Doctor with the Agatha Scepter up for him, his ultimate damage is about to go through the roof with all the bounces that it has available to him. So this is not going to end well at all, so... Doom right now, still trying to figure out what he's going to try and build here. Um, as he has the Ring of Regen and the Chain Mill. I think this is really trying him trying to go for a mech, but realized a little bit too late, I guess, with some Team Synergy that, oh, never mind, Viper has uh, the mech already for us, so I should probably not build that. And now it's a little bit too late and he just has to sit there with those items, because I really don't think can't think of any other items he wouldn't have already picked up already if you, you know, go for the useful items for him. You don't just buy a chainmail for the, um... Dyer's top tower uh, is under you attack. <laughs> um, so, we we'll have to see how that will roll out for them. But SRT, they're going to be able to take this top tower, looks like. And this is just with the Vengeful Spirit, Radiant's the Witch Doctor, and this Brewmaster. And this one going to take this pretty easily. Yep, there we go. That's freaking the last hit. And no contention at all from COF. They've realized at this point that there's no way they can fight. And now TP's coming into the middle lane. And they're all just going to mass TP in here, it looks like. And they're going to try and fight here. Try and find some sort of a situation to be able to fight. Maybe we just try and push into the base at this point. They Dyer's have all of the tower outer towers now. Attack. So, we'll have to see how, uh, if that is their plan or not. Centaur, he has the pipe up for his team. He's had that up for a little bit now. And let's actually take that as an opportunity. Uh, that pipe being shown finally. Uh, let's look at the items across the board where Brewmaster is now has his full Akinem Scepter. We see the Venge has gone drums, phase. So we have Aquila, the Witch Doctor with the Ags up for himself. Um, look at the other side, we have two Midases up on them, and I, I still... Midases are great items, don't get me wrong, the Midas is an amazing item. The problem comes when you're getting a Midas and it kills your productivity as a hero. That's the thing. Um, oh, Weaver. You might try and speak to this, no, he's not Roshan going to. Has fallen to the dire. A blink out there uh, from the Brewmaster. Could have possibly tried to get him, but nope. And looks as though they do see that the Weaver was there, but they don't even have to care. They're just going to go and teleport into them, or not teleport, blink into the middle lane here. And Doom now finally has up his Blink Dagger. So yeah, these items completely worthless. That's what, a wasted 800, seven, yeah, what, 900 gold basically? Because it's 550 and then 350. Yeah, it, 900 gold wasted right there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So, this middle T3 Dyer's tower is going to start to take quite a bit of damage, but it, it, with the blink up on Doom, I don't know if it's going to be enough to be able to do anything um, versus the side of SRT here. I guess they don't have to care. They're going to sit there a little bit. They're going to try and go for somebody here. There goes the, oh, this, the blink away was there from the Doom, so he is able to uh, keep the stun away from him. If he had actually gotten a stun Radiant's there by the Venture Spirit, I think that would have been almost attack. a guaranteed kill on him with the amount of follow-up that SRT would have been able to have there. 
And so they're just gonna go and uh, wait for up oh, there. Mind there was a link in from the doom from the uh, brewmaster. I mean, not the doom, but the ultimate as well. Now there is a son of the doom as well as the brewmaster stun. And now this is gonna be his death. Oh, never mind. Trino character rollback comes out, but the doom is already on the stream. But actually, it doesn't even matter. Oh, which character rollback comes out? That's one dead, one buyback actually on the side of CUF already. Now Visage will lose his life as well as the Rubik. Two buybacks, three buybacks, four buybacks actually. Everyone is bought back except for the Rubik now. And now it looks like we're gonna have doom lose his life next. He's taking way too much damage. That's going to be his death. His buyback is down now, and they're gonna fall back. It looks like uh, SSRT need to go and keep themselves alive here. Most of the bench though will lose their life, but it is the Aegis. So Radiance top tower is under attack. And here we go, Rubik. Nope, not going to. Not going to be enough. Is well, Brew looks like he might actually lose his life here. So yeah, that's going to be Brew losing his life. I'll never touch there we go. Love. Radiance top tower is under the, attack. There's the death of the brewmaster, at least. But 21 to 4 right now after that team fight. 12,000. Oh, don't just talk. Nah, he's gonna be fine. He'll be perfectly fine. Um, but 12,000 gold lead going the way of SRT in terms of experience. About a 7,500 experience. So that one hasn't changed all that much. Radiance the gold lead really comes from the fact that they have all attack. of the towers down now, except for the T3s, and COF have yet to take a single tower of their own. Viper, this is just... Why? Why would you do this? I mean, you just lost a massive fight. You had to spend... How many buybacks was that? You had to spend... Oh, it was only three buybacks. Never mind, it's the Rubik didn't buy back, and Viper apparently didn't buy back. I thought that he had bought back in that uh, engagement, but you spent three buybacks there to barely be able to uh, keep them out of the base, I? and you decide to go for a Midas on the Viper. Like, where does that logic actually come from? It just doesn't seem to work out in the favor of COF here. Um, Weaver, though, is getting some time to go and just push bottom a little bit here, get some nice farm, finally. But the thing is that right now he has 5,200 net worth. He is Radiance the, what is that? Is under Seventh in terms of net worth right now. He's, you know, 1,600 net worth Dyer's right now behind the Witch Doctor. And looks as though we're just going to be seeing, oh, Radiance will they get the Weaver here? No, doesn't look attack. like this. he's going to be able to escape, but... Witch Doctor, that's just an illusion, buddy. You're not going to be able to get that at all. Um, but right now, SRT just have the ability to just sit back and uh, keep on pressuring this tower because there's nothing the COF can do to try and stop them now because they have no buybacks, basically, except, of course, on the... Where are they? There we go. Except, of course, on the... Oh, there we go. Doom on. Brewmaster is going to be able to stop that. And the Centaur is going to go and get an reinitiation. Will this be enough? Oh, Tree Factory is going to try and move in, but not going to get the ultimate. If we try to channel the ultimate, there goes the ultimate coming out. But will it be enough to be able to do anything? There goes the Witch Doctor as well. Going to be able to stop. Oh, a lot of damage coming out. Will we see the steal from the Rubik? New Death Lord was in fact solo, but it's not going to be enough because he does die instantly once he grabs that. But Venture Fear loses her life now. Apparently, right now, we see COF. They are pushing him back here. And there goes Witch Doctor Lucia, though. Finally, there goes the Brewmaster Split. Going to be going on to the Viper here, dealing a lot of damage. And now we have the Centaur coming in. No, not going to be able to get the stun off on anybody there. But now Viper still going to lose his life. There goes the Double Edge. Not going to be coming out there. And Centaur actually taking a lot of damage. Weaver thrown up by the Tornado from the Brewmaster. Will they have the detection to be able to find him here? There goes, goes down. And nope, not going to be able to see him there. Now the Barracks will be the next target. Oh, there goes the Double Edge. There goes the Thunder Cloud coming out from the Brewmaster. That's going to be two to the side of COF. Barracks are now going to be able to be going down. Uh, they're just going to go and keep on pressuring these Barracks. And 24 to 6 now. Weaver, there Dyer's goes the urn onto him. He steal from the room. What does he steal? He steals living armor, so that's good at least. Gonna be going on to the Weaver there. And he's gonna try and just Sukuchi out here, but he can't be too aggressive because even though he has living armor on him, it's not going to be much at all. He has no HP. He has 830 HP right now. Um, and what is that? 8 armor? So he's not adding up to be doing all that well right now. Roshan going to be up in 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Look at the gold lead. Dyer's Over 12,000 gold lead going the way of SRT. And in terms of experience, still sitting at only about a 7,500 experience lead for SRT as well. But, I mean, that's the way that it has been for almost, or, you know, actually not almost, a very long time at this point. So... Which is the, oh, Centaur, there goes the open coming out. The Dreamer going to hit four of them there, actually. Who's he? There goes another stop coming out from the Messer. Which doctor is he there available for his ultimate? But the Vicious Familiar is right on top of him. They need to get this Vicious Familiar down to be able to do much. Doom does come out onto the Brewmaster. Centaur has also actually lost his life. His Viper is the one that killed him off there. And that team fight really just broke up. Oh, never mind. There's the Witch Doctor ultimate dealing tons of damage. Going to get a triple kill for him. There goes another Witch Doctor ultimate. And the GG gets called by the Weaver as a misplay comes out. 
from the side of COF. They try and move in there. They were starting to take a good team fight there. They were able to get a kill, get the Doom on the Brewmaster. They were able to keep him back for a little bit, but just was not enough. And they just move too far forward there and lose their lives as a great Wish Doctor Ultimate comes out. At the very last second there, and they just call the GG with that one. So thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. It means a ton of you guys are here, and this is only game one of this matchup. I'm sure that we will have some more interesting plays coming up soon um, in the next matchup in this. Uh, this is a uh, two-game series. And after this series, I will be casting the Join Dota uh, America matches coming up. I don't even remember the teams that are in it, but I will be casting that one when it comes up. So thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. It means a ton. If you are on Twitch right now, please do follow my channel at twitch.tv slash Nistagord. That is, if you're on Dota TV and you want to go and follow that one, it'll tell you whenever I am streaming. It'll email you out for that one, as well as follow me on Twitter at, at Nistagord Dota. That'll mean a ton also if you follow me there. I'll be tweeting out whenever I start to stream everything like that. And I'll also be tweeting out a lot of just random things, uh, stuff like that. So thank you very much for tuning in, guys. We're going to be going into the next match here in just a moment. And, um... And that's the end of the uh, cast here for this match, and we'll be back in just a little bit.